Thanks for joining me here at Crossing the Line. I'm your host, Isaac King. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Now let's get into it. Balenciaga, the saga of CP that these guys have been promoting. Now, the story from the Sydney Morning Herald, and if you've missed it, over the last couple of days, uh, going into a week now, Balenciaga, the high-end fashion brand, has been caught out using uh, children in very sexually provocative ways for some of their uh, next year's catalogue. And as if we didn't know it, as if we didn't know this was all an agenda and uh, they were pushing for this, that end of the uh, 1% and that end of the spectrum are pushing to be using children as sexual objects. Now, this... Balenciaga scandal has come out and I'm surprised it was uh, it's received this much backlash usually because anytime a company like this does anything like that they get away with it uh, it might have something to do with Elon Musk buying Twitter it might have something to do um, with just people are finally cluing on to it and you know using children and these kind of things uh, to promote a sexual agenda I don't think anyone agrees with it. A few, a few people in, you know, the uh, fashion industry obviously do. But um, if you missed it, they put out some photos. They uh, did a photo shoot. Children holding teddy bears in these photos, and the teddy bears were covered in bondage gear. Some with like ball gags, leather, uh, you name it. You know. Now, that's messed up as is. But then. A few other things popped up, like in the photos, there was a handbag, a, photo, a specific photo of a handbag. Underneath the handbag on the table, there were some documents and someone screenshotted the documents, had a look, and they were referring to a court case in the US about legalizing or the, leg, you know, the legality of child exploitive material on the internet. And few other things popped up like there was some demonic stuff that people picked up on i'm not going to get too much uh too much into that but there was a lot of fucking red flags that popped up in this story now balenciaga being such a high-end fashion brand who makes crap i don't know I'll, but anyone i know would wear anything like that unless they make some fucking good pluggers um they circle, they in the circle with rich people, famous people, powerful people, people like uh, Kim Kardashian, people like Kanye West, people like, you know, those kind of people, rich and famous fashion people. Now, a lot of people come out and said this was fucked up, this was a messed up thing to do, but a lot of people took a lot of time before they said anything like that. Now, Kanye West is in the news again, obviously. Uh, you've probably heard about that, saying some pretty fucked up things. But he's been going around wearing Balenciaga stuff still. Now, to each his own. But uh, that's probably the least of his worries at the moment. But uh, people like Kim Kardashian took a very long time before they come out and said anything. And that when she did come out and say something, she said she was working with them to sort out their issues. Now, I don't know, if I found out a company that I liked or whatever was pushing CP, pushing that agenda, I don't think I'd be hanging around very long. And I think I'd have to come out and say, especially when you make a lot of money off of them, uh, or with them, or for them, uh, I'd come out and say something pretty goddamn quick. So we'll get into this story here from the uh, Sydney Morning Herald. If it wasn't for a teddy bear handbag, Balenciaga designer Demma, her last name Gives Zayla, drop last year, I don't know how to pronounce it, get you know, bear with me. Uh, would have received the Business of Fashion Global Award for the sound of clapping cardia rings at Soho Farmhouse in England on Thursday. The award, which recognises an extraordinary member of the international fashion community, has been presented to Stella McCartney, British Vogue editor Edward Infall, and Virgil Abloh was withdrawn. The reason the teddy, the teddy bar handbag was decorated with BTSM attire and carried by a child, 
child in Balenciaga advertising campaign. See the uh, teddy bear there. Children and BDSM should never be used in the same sentence. I didn't think we'd have to state that in 2022. Let alone the same photograph, which was part of Balenciaga's gift shop campaign. The Balenciaga saga, I bet you they're happy with that one, continue with the copies of the US Supreme Court documents relating to child P, uh, CP spotted in another campaign belief a $4,900 handbag. Other images from the campaign with no incriminating material feature model Bella Hadid, French actress Isabel Huppert, and Nicole Kidman, who posted an image to her Instagram account days before the scandal erupted. Isn't there an old, like, conspiracy theory about Nicole Kidman and that kind of thing? Hmm. Maybe they were right. Advertising is about getting attention, says Dr. Lauren Rosewarn, a popular culture expert in the U University of Melbourne. So I feel a bit dirty even commenting on the story because it's ultimately ultimately what Balenciaga wants. In discussing it, we are validating the brand is revel relevant, cutting edge and buzzy. Balenciaga campaign is overtly target targeting adults with the use of children in provocative situations. The revolting nature of the campaign come from the nod to child CP, with the company having some very sketchy plausible deniability. Yeah, I mean, so, so there's some of the images there. I remember a few years ago when they were complaining on the news about, uh, I think it was around Christmas time, sexualization in kids' clothing and uh, toys. So things like Barbie dolls and I think it was the Bratz dolls at the time were wearing skimpy outfits and they were cartoons and shows that they brought along with it were doing the same. And people were up in arms about that. But that seems to have fallen by the wayside with this new generation uh, of, I wouldn't know what generation it is, of kids coming up at that age now. They just don't seem to care about the sexualization of their children. And you can see that kid's probably like, what, four? Something like that. That's the handbag and uh, in question with the um, yeah messed up court documents. The latest apology from Balenciaga for the advertisements, which have now been removed, follows a statement from Kim Kardashian temporarily distancing herself from the brand or which she has modelled. We strongly condemn child abuse and will never. It was never our intent to include it in our narrative. Yeah, because he got caught out promoting it. We strongly commend, it was part of a statement posted to the Balenciaga's Instagram account. The two separate ad campaigns in question reflect a series of grievous errors which Balenciaga takes responsibility. Yeah, because you guys published it. We could have done things differently. Strict guidelines are in place for child models working in Victoria and New South Wales, according to Balenciaga, been, um, national talent manager for uh, Bettina Talent. It's with these fucking names. Like, do they change their names to sound like assholes? Uh, which operates a children's modeling division. Employers must send over their creative briefs, storyboards, and risk assessment and call sheet to the relevant child employment body uh, to be approved before employment commences. The agency also operates in Queensland, where Brinham... Say, Brinbaum says that there are fewer restrictions. The rules in our other states are less strict. However, we do not ask our clients to send over photos of what the kids would be asked to wear and tell us as much information about their shot and the shoot as possible before we even send them a suggestion for models. We also advise parents that they must stay and supervise their child on set at all times. Their child is never to be out of their sight, not even if they need to move the car, get a, get a coffee or go to the toilet. Something like Balenciaga shoot could slip through the cracks in some states, as if the producers are not up to up front with about the details of the shot, if a parent doesn't speak up on set, but it is less likely here in Australia. For a Ros Warren and Balenciaga campaign is the latest example of a fashion troubled relationship with the children, stretching back to the infamous 1980 Calvin Klein jeans campaign, featuring a 15 year old Brooke Shield saying, Do you know what comes between me and my Calvins? Nothing. Now, what Nicole Kidman has to say. 
Balenciaga is just one of the infinite brands that have published the boundaries of taste and acceptability this way, Rosborn says. They're not even the first to bring child and sex together in a campaign. That doesn't fucking excuse it. I mean, you're promoting child CP. You're promoting it. I don't give a fuck what you say. This is their whole agenda. Like, rich people, why are they always surrounded by it? It's always happening with these rich people. It's always happening. Always CP around them. I don't get it. At 56, I can go back. Uh, in an interview with the US Vogue last year, Shield said that she, uh, at the time she was unaware of the innuendo. At 56, I can go back and look at the camera and say, oh, well, they're zooming in and yeah, it's sort of on my crotch area. And then it comes to my face like, okay, she said, but sex has sold since the dawn of time. Yeah, but to a four-year-old, they're doing this, you know, three to four-year-olds. On the one hand, I don't think you could get away with a lot what I did in the 80s now, but at the same token, so much is more done now than what we would have dreamt of ever doing. Former child model, uh, model Shean Tozzi, who appeared on the cover of Harper's age 13, went on to appear on the cover of Vogue, and Cosmopolitan has condemned the Balenciaga shoot. The protection of children is paramount at all times, Tozzi said. It goes without saying that these images are grossly unacceptable, although there are multiple third parties involved, is inevitably the responsibility of the brand to sign off on the collateral. Yes, they've, saw, they've seen everything. They are the ones who fucked up here. They knew exactly what was going on. They knew exactly what was going to happen in this photo shoot. They wrote, they signed off on it. That is why they've deleted all their social media accounts. Oh, fucked up. I mean, and then these people, look at them. Fucking rich yuppies. Kim Kardashian. The whole lot. They're, they're terrible people. And it's coming out and they're getting busted for it now. Like, I don't see anything good coming out of this for any of them. I mean, the photos back there that you can see of the children, and that's just some of them. Uh, it's it's messed up. A lot of it seems to be cropping up over the last 12 months, even two years now, that um, Epstein Island kind of style stuff. Uh, makes you wonder what all these rich and famous people are doing in their spare time with all their money and all their privacy and security. Makes you really wonder what they're getting up to. Conspiracy, uh, conspiracy, I think we all know what that would be. Um, but yeah, this Balenciaga story is not going away anytime soon. These guys have taken a massive shot, shot to the bow over this. And so they should. They should be paying for it. They promoting CP. We know what happens to people that do CP. Uh, not as much as it should. A lot of people who do that seem to get away with it. Jeffrey Epstein, Elaine Maxwell. Uh, yeah, people like that. I'm not going to go into too much details here because I know what I can and cannot say on Twitter. But uh, yeah, I wonder what's going to happen here with Kim Kardashian. I'm going to put a big uh, fucking hunk of money on nothing. She will apologize in some sort of stupid video, say it was abhorrent, and then um, pretend that it never happened and we'll forget about it. Everyone will forget about it and then they'll go and do the same thing or another company like that will do the same thing very soon and they'll just keep pushing that agenda, that CP agenda. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.